Well, good day there, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Trap Lines and Inlines. Thanks for tuning in with me here today. I'm glad to have you. It's a beautiful day here on site. It's fall though. We don't got much time here. Up here in Northern Canada, I expect two weeks of fall and I expect fall to be here like this and then boom, it's winter for half the year. We gotta get logs on the wall and we gotta make some changes here too because it's gonna be pretty cold in the old camper there pretty quick. Let's get right out of it. Beauty. Well guys, we are pushing the boundaries here on this build, that's for sure. The wall is so long. Even though this was a beautifully straight log, we had to cut it into pieces and stretch it out at the windows just to get it to reach. And that's been the case for all these logs are in pieces because they will not reach at that length. But look at the final result here, guys. It's looking just awesome. What a beautiful morning it is here today. Well, a lot of you guys probably have this same here dilemma. You come out, you buy a set of boots in the spring and they don't even make it to the winter. And that's a Canadian winter too. It's not a very long summer, but work boots that look like this after th three months of work. Steel toe fell out of them. I thought I'd ask you guys, what's the best pair of boots there? Cause I'm gonna need to buy a set here for next spring, but I don't wanna buy a set right now. It's gonna be winter in a month. It, get, it starts to get bad when the, the old boots start looking better than the new ones. <laughs> Good thing I kept them for parts, eh? <laughs> Here's my quick life hack as I get them switched over. These laces and all these boots, they just break like hell. You know what doesn't break? And I've never seen this before till I did it. So maybe no one's done it before. <laughs> this is chainsaw pull cord. And I use it as boot laces because otherwise I break them. You know, we work them hard. Yes sir, lining them up and dropping them down. We're just out here solving the equation. Beauty. So I fabricated these, I'm still working to perfect my design, but hold up the ends of my logs. So we'll just lower the log here. Because this log is in three pieces, there are six ends of this log that need to be lined up perfectly, up and down, as well as side to side, so they stack up perfectly with the logs below. I've been spending pretty well all my time lately in the bush and I've been getting these monsters drug out, cut, limbed, brought home and uh, start peeling them. This is a straight log for over 60 feet. See, our house is so big, it's not actually by choice, it's by necessity a log this big. I need seven logs that are 62 feet long. Like the house is just nuts. And um, they're very hard to find. I walked for miles and miles for days, really, just to find a few beauties. The older the tree, the bigger, the, the harder the bark, the bigger the tree, the older the tree. I have to fight this one fairly hard.
I got a lot of work to do in October just getting the material ready. You know, it's gonna be like, it's a long time I've spent here getting these logs out and getting them peeled and ready to build. But then I have a lot of really valuable material here and they're gonna be ready to build with and we're gonna be able to push forward with what we need to get this shell done this winter. We gotta be building this winter. We gotta keep at her. So let's get her done, guys. But like, look here. In this area here, which is like two feet, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine knots. And then when there's knots, I can't just rip right into them because they'll stop me dead, eh? So I gotta work around all these knots. Everything stops at that knot. We have to be really careful handling logs this big. It's quite a front end loader on this tractor. It's capable of lifting a lot, but this log is so massive. It's like about 68 feet long and it's definitely a few thousand pounds, I would guess. It's extremely tippy. I, I barely got it loaded. Let's see if we can get it peeled. A long day that doesn't feel long. Tell you what friends, I, I just hop on here and rant to you quick. I've been, you know, eight hours today, the start of today I've been hauling cows. It takes a special kind of something to have in your life, some special kind of work that you're super passionate about. You can come out here at five o'clock and it feels like you just woke up in the morning because you're so excited and passionate to get it done. And like just to work with the timber, I love it. Even the shittiest part of the whole fucking deal, like peeling these monsters, which peel hard. Like even the worst part of this job and everything that I do out here with log building, I'm still so damn excited to get out here. I can't get enough of it. And you can't buy that. You can't buy that. Like, but I am trying to inspire it friends, you know, like it's one of my big things with this channel. Find work that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. You know, I, I just fucking love this shit. This is a 34 footer and it's still huge at the tip. It's going to go right across our short walls. Look, we don't got that many days left, like one or two before it's going to be frozen the whole time. And we need to get the bark off these before it's frozen or we just can't get it off. Beauty! It's a dust till dawn ordeal out here, friends. You can do this if I can, and let me show you why. Because if you look at all of these monster logs, I got all of these logs out of the bush with basically what's in here, like really not much else. Like, 
Come look at the loadout here we got. A chainsaw. I guess that's your big ticket. These are synthetic winch ropes. They're like a hundred bucks on Amazon. Measure tape. Log roller. A couple of pulleys. This one's off Amazon for 50 bucks. This one's Princess Auto 50. I even had to fix her up. An assortment of chains for lifting and skidding. And then a couple tree saver ropes I only paid like 30 bucks for. I can't and hundreds of hours of work. Now I'm using the tractor and you might say that's kind of cheating. Before I was able to use the tractor, I drug most of these logs out with my beauty old truck here. With this log skitter I built myself for a few hundred bucks, which is on a video on the channel. Using just a little flex core welder that you can buy for only a few hundred bucks. So you can do it if I can do it guys, cause if there's a will, there's a whole lot of ways. We're just getting the equipment brought home today. All the logs I cut are here now. Here's how long this monster log took and you won't believe me. The scale of this thing won't be picked up on camera. Here's 70 feet down the tree. <laughs> it is still nine inches. Like it's one degree here and it's winter tomorrow and I just knew that if I didn't get this log peeled, I was not gonna get it done. It was gonna take me multiple days. You can see it, it's really hard to peel these in this time of the year. It's best to do it in the spring. This is how heavy this log is. I nearly cried doing this. And this log is literally so big. I literally had to construct this here custom steel deal to even turn the fucking thing. It's, it's not even funny. I peeled this log all day yesterday and I still had to come here today and finish up the last of the knots. Okay. That's what perfectly dry wood does. Here's to warm fires and warm coffee. It sure is good to be back. First snow of the year here guys on site. I think this will be, won't be able to do this when we get into the real big timbers, I tell ya.
There's some really important stuff I've been waiting till the end of this video here to talk about. There's really been a lot going on here for the last month or so, friends. This has been where I've been living this whole summer and building and it's been working really good, but it got too cold right away. Like in September, you know, it gets too cold to stay in a camper. It doesn't take much. There's not much to the walls of a camper. So I've actually been busy moving into a new place and setting it up now. I needed my own place, a place to stay while I continue to work on the project here all winter. You know it's winter here now friends, I'm already three layers deep with my minus 100 boots on and this last month or so has just been really busy getting everything ready before winter and we got it done guys, we sure did. It was absolutely critical to get these logs home before and get most of them peeled so that they were ready to build throughout the winter and so we can keep building on our project. But I have spent most of that month getting these logs. It's been a huge process. There's not a huge amount of new logs here, but they are huge and it was a huge amount of work. There was a few big reasons why I didn't film a lot of this process. Now really the biggest one friends was I was fortunate enough to have people who were nice enough around the area to let me go onto their land and cut some of the selectively cut a few trees here and there. It did not feel like the right thing to do just out of respect to film their shit. It, it was just something I didn't even ask. I, I just didn't feel right doing that. I cut most of these here and I filmed a ton of logging the first two videos in this series for these big logs and it's just the same thing. And I think you guys would understand that. So the, the logs have arrived here now, friends, and the ambition has never left. It feels so good to be back building. It feels so good to have the timber to go. And we're going all winter here. Every day we're pushing forward to get this thing done because it is a monumental build, a monumental project. And every single day, guys, we're better, we're bigger, and we're closer to our goal. The next video we're going to be working on the most important logs on this whole build and it's going to change shape more than any other video because we're going to put the logs above the tops of the windows. It's really going to make it look like a house. They're really important logs structurally, how it looks. It's going to be really important and they're all eye level logs we're working on. We're working on the logs that everyone sees walking around, you know, just a bit higher, you know, kind of where everyone's looking all the time. It's going to be really important and this thing is going to change more than it ever has in the next video. Truck rebuild coming soon too. Got to get that on the road here. That's my next thing I need for winter. Sure as hell ain't doing it winter in a car, especially out here. So I can't wait to see you on the next one guys. Thanks for watching and I hope everyone's doing just great.